What's going on, guys? Um, well, look at the collection of worms. Yeah. We caught they them. came out of that riverbank. Oh, really? We've been saving them, them. them. Really so that they could, they, if they swallow too much of that water, they can die just like the other ones I see. They were dying? Yeah. That's they why they were just rolling on the foot on the sidewalk. Whoa. How did, how did that happen? You want to see the biggest one we've caught so far? Yeah. Whoa, that's amazing. We've been helping them not be stranded. We're, we're, we're Adam been. and Andrew, the worm hunter. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, you just got a lot of sleep. No, it's just because he's going different way. Alright, I'm going to go capture more. You can watch that. I hope the worms don't poop on me. Well, uh, me too. Do you think they will? No. They'll be okay? I'm coming, Andrew. Make sure they don't escape. What, the worms? Yeah. You think they will? I just... I'm coming! I'm coming, Andrew! Stranded! He's stranded. He's stranded. We have one hot worm. It's what? He was stranded. He, he was stranded? How is he hurt? It's pretty good of you guys to save them. Just what we did. I'm coming! <laughs> What's, what happened to those guys? Stranded. Stranded? Hey, buddy. Don't think they're escaping. Hmm? They're trying to escape. They're trying to escape? Of course they are. I think. Yeah. Huh? Hey, Andrew! How many more did you guys find? Yeah. I was silent. Have you caught any more? No. Okay. I think it's amazing that you guys actually found that there were... We're taking care of nature. You are? Mm -hmm. So kind of you. Good thing we are taking care of nature. It is a really good thing you're taking care yeah, of nature. Those worms would have died. It's nice of you. What happened? Uh, you guys would have skipped on my boots and run back to the front and got stranded again. So, did, why, why are they in there? In the umbrella? No, in the in the street. What were they doing in the street? I don't know. Just that, I think this storm was unexpected. Yeah. Mm. Um, hold on, I'm just taking care of the worms. <laughs> What are we going to do with these worms? They're going to save their life. Okay. It's really amazing that you guys can do such things. Take care, take care of nature? Yeah. I was born to take care of nature. What did you say? I was born to take care of nature. You were born to take care of nature? I think that's pretty amazing. I like nature. You do? I like that you like nature. I think when they're looking in the mirror, I can so just tell them that no longer how much they spend looking inside in the mirror, their, their head will they would just their head would just look like their rear end.
How many more did you save? What? How many more did you save? Three. Hey. Hey, Andrew. Whoa. Hold on. Yeah? Well, how did you guys find these things? Going down the river. You just see them. You pick them up. Mm -hmm. And you save them. Yeah? How'd you know that they were, like, in, in danger? Um, yep, because they were very weak and they weren't moving. They what? They were very weak. They were weak? So where should we put them? I don't know where the cage is supposed to be. Yeah? But we need to help them. Oh, you're so kind. Well, but keep an eye. Make sure if anyone comes, if any of them try to um, escape, just move them out of the place they're escaping from. Okay. And try to take care of them. Okay. You got it. Hey guys, come here for a minute. Then why don't you take them back? I tried to put them in my hand. Put them all in my hand. If you could even put them all. Yeah? What are you guys up to? We're saving Long's life. Yeah? To keep the earth the free. Hmm? The earth is losing all its helpers because if the if we don't save these worms, the earth is doomed. Okay. We need to keep as many worms in life as alive as possible so that we can just learned a valuable lesson. What's that? Never step on a worm. Did you step on one? No. But we I've got into some and they were already dead. So we've gotten it's some of them that we miss. Hey, someone go get a Ziploc baggie? Uh, Ziploc baggie would not be a good thing for them. Why? Because then they wouldn't be able to breathe. I have a feeling the best thing to do is to put them in the garden over there that's under the, um, the overhang. So they're protected, but they're back in their normal ha natural habitat. Get a plastic bag and we'll keep the, um, We can let open. it open. We can leave it open, you mean? Well, we could just put soil in it. Do now we have? Gonna put How about we do this? How, I have a better idea. How about we put a little soil? Or actually, there's a pot right there. Put them in that pot. No, it's dead. They can't breathe in there. That that soil is not dead. It's okay. Put them in that pot. Oh, I keep them hey, alive. here's King Kong. <laughs> Here, you can put them in that pot or that pot. That pot's probably the best because it's uh, it's fully covered. Okay, Adam, can you hold them all? Sure. I have a good idea. Let me see, Adam. Come on, John, you. What? A baby. Whoa! I almost killed him. Here, let me see him, Adam. Let me see your. Let me see. How many you guys got? How many do you think you have? Thirty. See, 30? look at this baby. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. Oh no! Don't escape! Don't escape! Come on, guys. Please, I'm just about to put him in here. Ah. What tickles? Them. They're squirming. Okay, you guys put them in the bucket over here. Come on. Yeah, that's one. No, wait. Don't put them there. I have an idea. Hold Guys, on. Guys, I'm just about to put you in your net. No, Adam. Adam, Adam, wait. Put them back in my net. I have a better idea. Put them in my net. Put hand. them in a Ziploc bag? No. Put them in my hand. Let's I stop handling some. Andrew, what's your idea? I want to put them in a thing so we can study them somehow. Okay, put them back in this bucket, and they'll be there, and we will dig them back up. No. They're probably traumatized. We need to stop handling them so much. What do you mean traumatized? They're probably like, what in the world is going on? I need you to stop playing with me so much. Stuff like that. Wait, so guys. I'm putting them in the Okay, let's make a compromise. Yeah. Let's get, let's put a couple in a Ziploc, okay? What? Well. You'll be safe from all the flood. What? Is that their new house? Yeah, they can't dig in. They'll dig in. They'll get the. I think it's. They're a little shocked, probably, because of all the rain. Yeah, I think they just need a little. Don't you think? Yeah, and I think somebody really needs to get a zip lock. 
Okay. And they're running up my hand now. You don't think we should leave them with the rest of their family? <laughs> no, they're all separate. <laughs> None of them were together. That would be Worm's mom on the umbrella. Yeah. Mm hmm. Should we go? I, oh I hope they didn't poop No, one more. Put no, more no, 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 no. in there. Okay, Andrew, put those in there and we'll come back out. They're not digging I too fast anyway. Oh. Andrew. Now, don't close it, okay? Now, can we put them under the microscope? Right now? Well, sort of. Okay, you want to see him under the microscope? Yeah. Okay. All right, but then after we... L listen, we can't put him under the microscope unless we squish him. And I really don't want to do that. Why don't we get a magnifying glass? Adam. Okay, get a magnifying glass, and Adam, Listen, he's not I able to breathe. He's not able to breathe. Yeah, he is. Do one thing. We've gone out there and saved millions of lives today. Four lives. Little yeah, lives that the earth needs. And once we're done with them, we're throwing them back into the world. Good job, guys. You did a really nice job, Andrew. It felt good. And hurt. Yeah, you gotta go wash your hands now, okay? Yeah. I'm gonna do that. Okay. You don't wanna hear the What's it look like, Andrew? Oh, it's very cool. It does? What does it look like? It looks like all bumpies and lines. Lines and bumpies? <laughs> Bunch of different stuff. And now that this sauce in our hands, we can do anything. We have the power. We could get a, a plate, put them on, and use some of the tools. And we're not going to dissect a worm. I'm not going to dissect a worm. I'm just going to move him along. To see what he's like? Yeah. Go ahead. I'm going to put paper plate. I think. Paper! Okay. We don't want our plates messed up with germs just because of a worm. Okay, put them on. Okay, so I can't totally see what's going on with this guy. Can't? No, but I sure know he's very healthy. Yeah. Because of the way his skin is. Mm-hmm. Why? What it tells you what, what his healthy skin is? Because it's very moisturized. Yeah. He's been perfectly fine to And he's, well, happy. He's happy? Yeah, he likes being this way, I guess. Mm -hmm. Let me see. I think quite he is his head. How can you tell? Andrew, don't poke him. No, no, no. Okay, if you want to move him, use these. This is it. Mm -hmm. This is to... He's very, very healthy. What did you guys name him? Joe. <laughs> Bob. In my future, on, his name is Hitz Mikwita. Oh, it's Joe Bob. Put it up. Put it up. What? What? And his middle name is Bob. Ooh, buddy. Guys get mad. You're choking him. I'm not choking him. Down. I'm not. That's his head, dude. No, it's his butt. Head, butt. Their head is flatter than their butt. <laughs> so you just choked him, dude. Mm, I don't know. You don't kill me. I'm going to see if he'll follow a path. He wouldn't. This is like scientific work. It is. We are scientists. You're going to put them under the scope? We've already gone under and it seems to be pretty healthy. Yeah. So we're going to keep an eye on Joe. Make well, in sure my future, his name is Bob. Keep him in our plant or something to keep one of the plants healthy. It's going to chuck no. him out for a few days. Go at one of the other guys. 
is him a break in a few days. All I can say is that when he gets a bit mad, he goes a bit stiff. Mm hmm From the way it works, he's pretty happy right now. Yeah. He likes being studied, I guess. Yeah. I guess this might have happened before with other kids. What? Where people study him. You think so? I'm not going to put him in there. I know. Ryan got shot. Examining a future of a world hit. Okay. No. <gasps> he moved. He moved. He moved. I'm going to put him all on me. Whoa, look at it. There's a huge Well, no, that's the veins going throughout the body. I know that we can see it, but it's odd. That's your ball. It's supposed to be. Excuse me, ma'am. Is that what you want to do what we ask you to do? Hey, you're killing him, dude. Check him out. What's he like? Come on, buddy. I can't examine in his eyes. What? Can they even see? Yeah, they've got some sort of sensor. Give me. Put him back. Let's see. Hmm, zooming in one of his eyes. Bring this up so I can put him on. This is like surgery. Only a worm. Whoa, he's moving. He's squirming. He's getting mad. Got him down. Okay, are we squishing him with the <laughs> microscope? Let's not do that. No. It's not like you're like supposed to be holding him down with a microscope thing. Don't you're killing him. Sorry, I didn't see. Wow, this guy's got treads. Looks like he's gonna need a bit of scientific ways. A lot of scientific Let's get down, boys. Okay, we're going to let the, um, I think we've studied him enough. We're going to put him back out there. And we're going to keep an eye on him for a few days. Okay, but he needs to be out there so he can be with his family, okay? He doesn't have a family. We found him alone. He lives alone. He's an adult. Oh. He doesn't have any kids or anything? No. Hmm. Does he doesn't even have a mate. Hmm. Looks like someone cut him up for something. I think I've cut him up for something. Let's not. Let's go put him away. <laughs> no. Okay, let's go put him in, out done. there. No, we need to go because we have to go to gymnastics, okay? Okay, okay I'll get nice put him in No, let's, let, we're handling him a bit too much, okay? Let's go put him out in the, in the thing, okay? Come on, buddy. Come on. When we get hey. back, he'll be gone. All right. Adam, no, you go put him out. back, he can be... Where should we keep him? Where put him in that pot out there and then you'll know where he is. He'll dig in. It's fine. We can dig and him we out. We need to study him. Okay, but we he's the biggest we study can't him. study him if he's dead. <laughs> Adam, please don't wrap that around yourself. Well, we can always, we have enough studying for today. No, put him on. Okay, okay, let's stop handling him. Adam, I'm going to put him on the shelf. Let's use the tweezers that we What'd you say? It felt good to save someone in the world. Yeah? Someone or something, that is. Yeah. So, what do you think would have happened if you wouldn't have intervened? Um, they, they would have all died, and none of them would be in the home they're in right now. Hmm. And we would know nothing about the worm that we know about now. We need all the scientific information we can get. From the little help of our little buddy, we can probably make the information true. And eventually we'll know more about worms than every, anybody else will. It's really awesome, Andrew. Hmm. It felt good saving those lives. They could have died out there in the flood. I've seen some dead worm bodies that have died just recently. We can store a few things in here. No. All I have to do, I think, is...
No, Adam, we just... I think it's just these or test tubes and things. I or like know. testing what they are. Okay, Andrew, we need to go to gymnastics, buddy. Okay. Okay, okay. bye, Worm Adam. Hunters. Bye. bye. You guys want to sign off? Sure. Oh, what's this?